Hi guys, it's Barbara with Cancer Cancer Cancer. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. Guys, this is a all Cancerian channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you're looking for other placements, please check out my main channel, Quartz Rose Tarot. The link is in the description box. If you're looking for anything, um, information to book an, a personal reading, anything that you may want or need is in the description box below the video. Just hit the word more and it'll take you there. So guys, this is love, singles, twin flame, and money. Let's get into this. What do we need to know about love, guys? Oh. So I feel like you had marriage... You got forever, you got the one, and you got union. But you've got charming, manipulative, karmic being tested. You could have married a player. Or you may meet a player at a wedding. Take it how it resonates for you. But whoever this person is, they're not good for you, for sure. So tell me about cancer. You're trapped in <laughs> Now, I don't know if you're married to this person or if they proposed to you or whatever, but this person's a player. You're having sleepless nights. You're back and forth about all the drama, and you're not happy. You are not happy. This is breaking your heart. I feel like you wish to be married, Cancer. I feel like you want to be the Queen of Pentacles here. Your wish is to be married. You want to be with this person, but you know there's deception here, and you're trying to move past this and walk away. So, Cancer, you may meet somebody who is a player. They may propose to you. You may meet them at a wedding. You even may be engaged to somebody, um, but this is has to do with a wedding with a player, and you know it. You know what this person's about. You want to be married, but you also know that there's deception and you need to move. You need to move on from this. You need to walk away from this person because this person is not good for you at all. Okay. That's love. Okay, singles. Tell me about my cancer singles. You gotta look who's, <laughs> look what the cat drug in, returning to apologize. So you may be single and interference. Okay, okay. Cancer singles. You may be single, but somebody may be coming back to try to make amends with you, trying to apologize to you for allowing somebody to interfere in the relationship. Right out the get, see, there was betrayal with a past person. And you're looking back at these past mistakes and the arguing and fighting. I feel like you had to either block somebody or stand your ground because you wanted justice in a new beginning. Somebody may want to recon try to come back to try to rebuild with you and apologize. They may want to offer justice in having a new beginning um, by trying to rebuild and apologize. See, they want to reconcile with you. Um, and they are, tr <laughs> I feel like this person wants to make peace and work it out, but you're at a crossroads about being left out in the cold. Mm. So I feel like, I feel like you get radio silence. This person may ghost you. They may not speak to you because a tower moment when you speak the truth. So you're at a crossroads out in the cold. When this person comes back and tries to sweet talk you or apologize to you and act like everything should be okay, you know, they're going to go, they're going to go radio silent on you. The minute this tower moment comes up, as soon as, as soon as you speak the truth about what they did to you, they're going to, they don't have nothing to say about this partnership. They don't have nothing to say. 
See, I still feel like you're moving on. You're going to move on from this. You're going to get away from this person. This is not going to be somebody you want to reconcile with because of what they've done to you in the past. Okay, guys, if you hear something, it is the gardener. I apologize. Okay, that was for cancer singles. Okay. Let's go with Twin Flame. Twin Flames. Twin Flame. What do we got for the Twin Flames? Okay, Cancer, Twin Flames. The conclusion of your family, this may be what your family thinks of the situation. Your family may think about, think that you settled for this person. The conclusion of your family, what they come to their conclusion, is that you settled, that you're settling for this Twin Flame. This is something that you're settling for because of the drama, because they don't understand the journey, because this is what they're thinking. This is what they're thinking. And their conclusion of this relationship between you and your twin is that your family thinks that you're settling for this person. They want you to cut out somebody from the past. They think that you're making a mistake if you take that leap to reconcile this. They think that you're making a big mistake if you reconcile this. They want you to cut this person out. They don't want you to be with this person. They don't. This isn't their journey. This is yours. They keep telling you to be patient. They're communicating about your happiness and wish fulfillment and love. I feel like your, par your parents, your family, your friends, they may feel like you're settling for this person. They don't understand what you're going through. They've never been through it. They think that this is a toxic relationship. They got nothing nice to say. They're telling you to be patient. They're telling you, they're communicating that you'll have happiness in love. Just be patient. You'll have happiness in love. They feel like you're blocking the harsh truth of the situation. They feel like that you are not seeing the red flags in the situation. You're waiting for this love. You're waiting for this person to come back and they don't feel like this person's ever going to dawn your doorstep. They think you're not seeing the red flags that you're blocking the harsh truth. Why can't you see what everybody else sees is what they're saying to you. Why can't you see what everybody else sees? Because everybody else isn't standing in your shoes. So it's almost like you want to work on the relationship with this king of wands, which is the emperor and a lower vibration. You may be mastering your emotion, but you may be in your masculine emotions. You're working with this king of wands to move forward in secret. It's like you don't want to even talk to people about it because they don't understand the situation that you're in. They got nothing nice to say. They think that you're, that you're being foolish. So you just simply stop talking about it. You stop talking about this, right? And you're kind of being strategic. You're not showing emotion. You know, even though you're trapped in your head, nobody else is going to know it, right? Because of the betrayal. And somebody being obsessed, that devil energy. Tell me about that. Queen of Cups, there you are. You feel like, no, wait, see, this is about, because of this devil energy and this betrayal, this is what takes you from the Queen of Cups to the pre-empress, right? This is, this is transforming you from the Queen of Cups to the pre-empress, this is, this is what that's really happening. You're back and forth in your head, having sleepless nights. You're very solid, stable, independable. 
about having a new beginning, but you may be holding back because of an option at a crossroads, wanting an offer. Um, you know that somebody's playing mind games and manipulating you, but it may be witchcraft is being, is being done, right? Someone's trying to win at all costs where this relationship is concerned. It's causing this king of swords, a tower moment. I feel like that king of swords is your emperor and he's dealing with the same kind of thing you're dealing with. Here you are, empress. You do see things from a different perspective. You look back at the past and you see the choices. It has to do with a commitment to heal, to heal. Your commitment to heal, or this is your commitment uh, that you've been wishing for. I do see this. I do see that you want to stop telling people your business because they're judging you based on something they don't understand. That's what this is about. Or you feel judged. Let me just put it that way. They may want the, the best for you, but they don't understand what you're dealing with. And because of that, you can't, you find it difficult to communicate with them about it. <clears throat> that's very interesting. I think that's the first time that's come up. Now money, Cancer. Let's see what we got. Tell me about Cancer's money. What do we got? You got temptation under the bottom. Beware of financial temptations to spend more than is necessary. What seems worth it now won't be, okay? So don't be tempted to overspend. We are in December. We all overspend, okay? But you also have harvest. It is time to gather resources and prepare to store up for future periods. You know, this is almost like going from the fall, making sure that you got everything you need for the winter. Like the winter's going to be, you know, maybe a little tight. Gather up, save up, save for that rainy day, that harvest in the winter time. The winter's coming, right? Don't be tempted to spend too much. They're telling you pay attention. You don't need to be buying a bunch of stuff. It may look like fun now, but it won't be, right? And then read some books. You got literacy. So books uh, are the key to improving your financial uh, literacy. Invest. Invest in your mind and the future. So this is like read some good books on um, getting you some tricks and tips on how to save more, how to invest more, uh, and to spend less. So let's get into this, Cancer. You know, yeah, save up for the winter. This is, you know, we don't need to overspend for Christmas. You know, right now, people are lucky to get a meal on their table without breaking the bank, right? Keep pushing forward. Keep pushing forward. Spin things, uh, look at it as a want or a need, right? Tell me about cancer. Yeah, you're working on mastering your emotions here. You're trying to balance. I feel like you're trying to balance things and you're at a crossroads. This may be in and out. You may want to rush into something. I feel like that may be the temptation. Don't be, too, don't be too tempted. I feel like you need to block this. You need to block that temptation, you being in and out, right? I feel like you may be, you know, the burden, the, the, you may burden yourself with betrayal if you don't keep your, um, your money in check, right? If you don't use some restraint on your spending, the temptation, you may end up stabbing yourself in the back, right? And causing yourself burden. Here, it's like, you know, I feel like this could be children. There could be children involved here. Um, I feel like this is a parent. And I feel like this is you, Cancer. You know, don't let them tempt you with mind games. Don't, don't let them play on your sympathy. Don't let them, you know, make you feel like you are obligated to do something. You overspend in December because of the holidays. I feel like, you know, but you will recover. 
you you will recover regardless you will recover i feel like you need to invest in yourself right i feel like you are getting passionate communication you're getting a victory when you take control so you are taking control and you are doing what you need to do to uh keep yourself out of debt keep yourself moving in the right direction so guys that is all i have for you if that resonates please leave me a comment down below don't forget to like share and subscribe and i hope you have a great day